Hi Virgo, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is another Virgo channel and this is another Virgo reading. Let's get started with a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. All right, we're back to the OG setup. I don't know how long this will be, but I was told I needed to deliver messages to you today while I am still on my social media break. I want you to write down 222. Um, that's a significant date for you as well as March 6th. Also, 222 could be a number you're seeing. I channeled that you're going to see something that scares you, or you're going to hear something that scares you or frightens you or shocks you, but it's not that big of a deal. Something is not really that big of a deal, and we'll break through it in this reading. Some of you, it may be blood. You may be seeing your own blood, or you may be seeing someone else's blood. You could be a doctor, nurse, phlebotomist, um, or just be seeing blood for some reason. I also channeled that blood is thicker than water. And I'm getting that you're going to find out something about blood. You're going to learn something about blood, your blood. Maybe you're going to be learning about your blood type, or maybe someone's giving blood, like donating blood. Okay, I'm hearing make sure that you eat a cookie after, or make sure you drink lots of water or something like that. Another message I was getting is don't correct them. Don't correct people. Your answer is, I don't know. And I know you know, Virgo. I know you have the answer. I know you can teach them. I know you can help them. But Spirit said, let them learn on their own. Let them make the mistakes on their own. Don't correct them. The reason I'm getting this is because somebody's not going to listen to you anyway, or these people are not going to listen to you anyway. They just want a reaction out of you. They just want to piss you off. They just want to upset you. Don't correct them. Let them live their life. If they think they're right, then they're right. Don't correct them. And then I lastly got, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. That song by Kelly Clarkson may be significant. But just generally speaking, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I was also getting something about snowfall. And I lit this candle which is called snowfall but some of you may have just had some snow where you're at and then i had a dream last night where i saw snow in louisiana so some of you may be living in louisiana or you're looking to move to louisiana or louisiana has significance for any other reason you could have brown hair let's see what the messages are yeah learning I'm getting something about learning and forgiving. And last night I was doing the Ho'oponopono. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I'm sorry. I forgive you. Thank you. I love you. Repeat that to yourself. If you're going through something right now, or if you're trying to forgive something, or forgive yourself, or forgive a person, a family member, an ex-lover, anything like that, just repeat this to yourself. I'm sorry. I forgive you, thank you, I love you. And so it is. The number four is coming through as well, so 444 four, four could be significant. You could be born on the 4th. I'm also hearing you could be born on the 11th. Someone could be 22 or 30. But learning, I'm hearing let them learn on their own. There's just significance here around a lot of people being angered and triggered by your truth or by your correction they don't want you to be right but they know that you're right and that frustrates them so don't correct them don't offend them by correcting them let them learn the lesson on their own let them learn i'm also getting that for a lot of you we've been triggered we've been being attacked we're under attack and it's only because you are right on the precipice of that manifestation you're on the precipice of getting and receiving everything that god promised to you when you chose this path in the first place and when that happens, your light becomes so bright that it attracts all the darkness. A lot of you are light workers. A lot of you may be resonating with earth angels as well. You are the light. The light has to be placed in the darkness. I'm just getting that you are about to break through into that life that you've been desiring. I'm getting something about like a quantum leap, quantum jump. You may be doing some kind of meditation or visualization here, but I'm letting you know that you are very close. 
you are right there. Your manifestation is right there. And because of that, because everything is changing for you, because your reality is changing, it's shattering everything outside of it, which is absolutely going to attract a lot of negative energy, a lot of attack, a lot of hatred. But that is not a reflection of you. That is a reflection of how you're growing, of how much you have learned. I'm getting significance around learning something. Learning who you are, learning why you are the way you are, learning about manifestation, learning about astrology. Some of you may be also learning about palmistry or learning about the power in your hands. Some of you could be learning Reiki as well. But I'm seeing that you are not supposed to be teaching these people how to overcome their obstacles and how to overcome their shadows. I know you know the answer. Spirit keeps telling me that. I know you know the answer. Let them figure it out on their own. Don't correct them. Don't offend them. All right. I'm also getting that some of you may need to save face. As in, don't show your face. Protect your face. Protect your beauty. Some of you may need to like wear your hood up. Wear some sunglasses. Wear a hat. Protect yourself. Protect your beauty. Protect your body. At this time. It feels like there are people who are trying to do whatever they can to wreck what you have coming. But they can't. All right, Spirit, what else do we have here? I'm hearing you don't need to be nervous, Virgo. Yeah, the star card. Your wishes, your manifestations. It's all coming in. It's all here. It's already manifesting and already, like, alchemizing in the 3D as I speak. The word is alchemy. You're a magician. The star here proves to me that whatever you have wished for, the universe is granting it. The universe has heard your wishes, has heard your calls. The universe saw you when you were dark and when you were down. This is also something that I'm getting. There is judgment coming for your enemies. There is judgment coming for the people who are out to get you and who have been out to get you and your family and your bloodline and your people. There is judgment. The universe says I'm not done. You may be done with something from your past. You may have acknowledged something from your past. You may have accepted and forgiven and healed something from your past. We don't have to speculate on what it is. I know you know what it is because it's your personal life. But Spirit is saying, I'm not done with it. The universe is saying, I'm not done with it. The universe is coming to collect. That is why you're being guided to get out of the way. Don't correct them. Don't teach them. Don't help them. Whoever this may be. And now this reading is not going to resonate with everybody. I forgot to say that in the beginning, but it is what it is. You should know by now. The readings are not for everybody. I don't offer personal readings either. I don't do any services. So if anyone's doing that to get money out of you, pretending to be me, it's a scam. I don't do services. I don't have a WhatsApp. None of that. If you'd like to donate, information's in the description box below. That's it. I do see that the universe is not done with something. The universe has to come in and teach a lesson to the collective or come in and teach a lesson to these people is what I'm getting. The star here means that you and your inner child and your family and your loved ones are safe. Your blood is safe. Your blood is thicker than water. And I'm also getting that you're transforming, you're changing something, you're turning water into wine or something is alchemizing. But the star card here represents optimism, it represents hope, it represents faith. So that's all you're being guided to do is to continue to have faith and optimism and hope. And pay attention to what it is that you truly want and desire. A lot of you are missing something or you're missing key information because you're focused on what other people might think. You're focused on how other people may perceive you. You're focused on helping other people. I'm hearing help yourself first. I'm getting that thing in, from an airplane. Some of you could be pilots or um, flight attendants, or you could be traveling at this time on a plane. But you know how they say to put your oxygen mask on first before helping anybody else? That's now. Put your mask on first before helping anybody else. Okay. But the star card is really good for your manifestations. This is why everything is happening the way that it is happening. You're triggering a lot of darkness but you're bringing a lot of darkness to the light. And I'm also getting that you may resonate with being like the black sheep of your family. In the star card, there's usually one bigger star. You stand out brighter than the rest. A lot of other people are conforming. Society is conforming and you are not. But don't correct them. 
Let them come to the realization on their own. Let them learn their truth on their own. I was also getting that God made stars. You are one of the stars. You are a star. But God made stars to shine light in the darkness. The stars are out at night. I'm also getting that some of you may be getting some kind of contract or deal for your music, for TV, some kind of fame or success I'm seeing because you are a star. And I'm hearing you don't have to be nervous. Something is happening exactly as you visualized it. Or something is happening exactly as you foresaw it. I'm getting that you have the gift of foresight. And something is happening exactly the way that you foresaw it. Which means you don't have to worry because you've already seen it. And I'm also getting that you've been prepared for these manifestations. So some of these manifestations that are breaking ground right now or that will be breaking ground soon, you've been prepared for. You've been preparing for. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. The universe made you fight. The universe made you earn it. But I'm getting that you're grateful because of it. I'm hearing they don't make them like you anymore. I'm getting something about England and Oxford. What did I say? Judgment. Hopefully you can see it. But like I said, judgment for your enemies. Judgment. It's here. Spirit's asking you to get out of the way. God is asking you to get out of the way. Your angels, your guides, God, the universe is strategizing, is forming a plan because you are their chosen one. The thing about being a chosen one is that you chose the path too. You chose this. You're a chosen one because you chose it. I feel like now you're finally releasing control and surrendering to the divine and allowing God to come through and to give you everything that was rightfully yours from the get-go. Some of you may have had money stolen from you. Some of you may have had financial issues. Some of you may have had love deprivation. Some of you may have struggled with like orphanage. Some of you may not know who your birth parents are, right? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. God is asking you to get out of the way because karma is coming for the enemies. Judgment is coming. I'm just, I keep feeling it. The angels, the ancestors, the guides are saying, we've got your back. We've always had your back. We will take care of it, Virgo. Get out of the way. Take that break. Take that rest. Have fun. Do things that you enjoy doing. Let us take care of the rest. They don't want you to intervene. They don't want you to step in the way. They want you to get out of the way so that they can come in and do what they need to do. Because the universe, like I said, is not done with something. You may be done with something and you may have forgiven something, but the universe is not done with it because these people turned a blind eye. These people decided that they were going to ignore it. These people thought that they could run away from it and it wouldn't catch up to them. And the universe says, mm -mm, I don't work that way. The universe doesn't work that way. Okay. And then we're also seeing the Four of Wands, which is an 11-11 energy. So some of you may be seeing 11-11 as well. I'm also hearing the name Paul and Nick and Dean. Those could all be significant names for some of you. Four of Wands here, there is something to celebrate. I'm also getting that some of you may be getting news about a new home, or you may be learning about where it is that you're going to be moving. Some of you, you may be moving to Louisiana, like we talked about. Or you may be receiving a dream that tells you where you're going to go next. The star, the judgment, the four of wands, it feels like the universe is giving you answers to your next move. Whether that be in career, in love, or like your actual home, or anything else, right? And I see that you guys could be learning about manifestation, learning about astrology, learning about homes. I'm also getting significance around March 6th again. Spirit is saying you're going to meet your soulmate. Or you're going to meet a soulmate March 6th or after March 6th. The number 44 is here as well. That could be significant. This overall means to me that you are protected. And I see good things coming into your life here, Virgo. 
I've been seeing the Page of Wands a lot recently, which signifies good news. So I want you to use the affirmation, I expect good news in the next 24 hours, and keep using it every single day until you feel like stopping. But I expect good news in the next 24 hours. I'm hearing you're telling the universe you're ready for something. You can shake off those nerves. There's nothing for you to be nervous about or to fear. It's also interesting to me that I don't see anybody else's energy in this reading, but I know that other people have been attacking you. And I know that other people have been attacking us as a collective. People have been attacking palm readers, attacking mystics, attacking tarot readers, attacking, attacking anything that strays away from the norm. And here's the judgment card. Get out of the way. That's just such a huge message from God, from the angels. Get out of your own way. Get out of the way. I'm hearing Moses is parting the seas, or we're parting the seas. You don't want to be caught up in the middle. Someone's name could be Donna. Or Shay. Spirit angels, ancestors, tell me about this good news. What's the Four of Wands, please, for the collective of Virgos? I'm also getting that for some of you, something isn't resonating with you anymore. Maybe a certain reader, maybe a certain type of readings isn't resonating with you anymore. Maybe some kind of food isn't resonating with you anymore. Maybe a substance isn't resonating with you anymore. A job, a person, an idea. Something isn't resonating with you anymore and that's a sign of you changing. That's a sign of you transforming. It's not a bad thing, okay? Yeah, we're seeing the fool. Some of you may be up and leaving, up and moving to a new home or going on some sort of trip here, the Fool and the Four of Wands. This to me could represent like leaving home or leaving a home or just traveling to a new destination. But this is also confirmation to me that good news is coming into your life because you're trusting the universe. And the universe is saying, I got you. It could be raining as well. I'm seeing an umbrella. And look, the Two of Cups. There is a soulmate manifesting into your life. For those of you who are looking for somebody new, this feels like a new love. It feels like a new connection with the Fool card here. They could be an Aries, a Cancer, a Scorpio, an Aquarius, but their sign really doesn't matter. I'm getting that this person is ideal. The word ideal is coming through. Some of you may be manifesting an ideal romantic partner, and this is confirmation. I'm also getting that some of you may be doing some kind of subliminal work, or some kind of frequency work, or some kind of affirmation manifestation work, and you're going to receive immediate results, or you're going to receive immediate confirmation that the universe is conspiring in your favor. Okay. The Fool and the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, there's good news coming into your love life. For those of you who are looking for a new person, I do see a soulmate is manifesting into your life. March 6th just keeps coming up. It's very significant. But also the Two of Cups represents two months. So within the next two months, you will be meeting your ideal person. This person matches your f descriptions perfectly. I'm hearing they're physically fit. They have good hair. They're kind. They're generous. They're free-spirited. They're loyal. I'm hearing they are your ideal person. So whatever your ideal person is, this is this person. It's manifesting. Yeah, there's the Seven of Swords on the Judgment card here. There it is. I'm telling you, the universe is not done because the universe sees all. The universe sees what these people are trying to do to you. The universe sees and saw what these people tried to project onto you, what they stole from you, what they took from you. The universe is not done. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron are here, I can hear them. They're saying we're taking care of it. Leave it to us. We've got this. We know you've been under attack. Don't correct them. Don't teach them. Don't get in the way. Because the Seven of Swords is here. And that talks about lies and deceit and cheating and theft. I'm hearing ignorance. And I just got a horn honk as confirmation. Someone has been ignorant or blind to the fact. And here's the trumpet. Here's the judgment. 
100%. And then we also have the Seven of Wands, so 77 could be significant as well. You may be seeing a lot of angel numbers and a lot of synchronicities. This is letting you know that the angels are protecting you, that your guides are protecting you, that the universe is conspiring in your favor. That everything you wish and dream is coming true. And for some of you, this is big. This is a big timeline shift. Massive. I'm hearing it's some of the biggest work you've ever done. Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, you are protected from these bad vibes. You are protected from this negativity. Your manifestations are protected. Period. Your thoughts are protected. You are protected. The universe is protecting you. And then the bottom of the deck says the well. This is the world card in this deck. Something is completing. A whole new world is manifesting for you. I'm getting that you have created this new timeline for yourself or you have created this new world for yourself. So keep in dream keep dreaming, keep envisioning, keep visualizing, keep meditating, keep the faith and let them learn on their own. Some of you I just feel this energy of like you pulling your energy back or you pulling yourself back, being a little bit more recluse when it comes to certain people or it comes to certain situations or it comes to a certain business or job you're just kind of putting your head down doing what you need to do the rest is up to everybody else i'm hearing you're not their savior you're not their teacher or something like that they can learn on their own they can do it on their own don't correct them don't do it for them the world is here this also represents new beginnings a new chapter a new chapter in love a new chapter in life and a new home for some of you as well you may not know where the finances are coming from you may not know what the next move is yet but if you trust that the universe will give it to you the universe is already making a plan for it it's already happening like i said you're going to receive some kind of dream or some kind of confirmation that lets you know where your next move is okay so Virgo, I hope that this reading helped you. I'm sending you love always. Take care of your beautiful self. Stay hydrated, and I will catch you in the next one.